Hi guys, so this is Mohit again uh, in part 2 of uh, the project which was understanding components and creating uh, a picture gallery gallery using uh, those three components which was the progress bar component, the other one was the tireless component and the UI loader component okay so this is part 2 guys and uh, if you remember in the earlier part, the last part I'd used picture 1 and picture 2 PNG and I'd brought it over into the UI loader in this part guys I'm gonna include the third picture and we're gonna see how we can actually make a photo gallery okay so before I actually start let me show you a published preview once again and uh, <coughs> so this is the way it actually looked like but the problem was um, although on the click of these thumbs the pictures were changing but what was not happening was the UI load I mean the progress bar wasn't disappearing after I actually clicked on the thumb the picture would actually appear in the UI loader but the progress bar or the preloader would stay put it wouldn't disappear that was problem uh, that was a problem that I told you we would tackle in the next part we'll do so now cool so guys this component the progress bar component has been called PB the instance name of which has been given as PB so what I'll do is I'll go inside the actions panel okay and then I'm gonna write out here PB dot visible is equal to false okay and a semicolon out here but I would want to become visible whenever somebody clicks on the uh, tireless component only then I would want it to appear okay not otherwise that's the first change let me show you how that change actually affects the projects so control enter okay so up front it does not appear but when I say click on any of the two icons it shows up uh, but the other problem is I would I would want it to hide itself or remove itself after the picture actually appear, appears in the main icon in the, the main container the UI loader com, you know component once it appears there I wouldn't want the progress bar to appear so there's the first changes uh, let me adjust the tile list bring the progress bar a bit towards the bottom okay and uh, yep so I was um, what I was saying is that I wouldn't want the uh, you know PB to appear after the image actually shows up in the UI loader I can do that very easily all I need to do is I need to attach an event listener to the UI loader so UI is the instance name of the UI loader dot add event listener okay event dot that's complete so a complete event and once the event is complete I would want complete handler to be executed okay and the function complete handler would make the progress bar disappear once the image has loaded in the UI loader completely cool let's see how would I actually do that so that's event colon event beg your pardon right so call in void because uh, this function does not calculate and return a value and then I'm gonna say pb dot visible is equal to false so in a nutshell initially the progress bar should not be shown should be shown once somebody clicks on the tile list thumbs and should make itself disappear once again uh, after the image completely loads in the UI loader component okay let's see how things look like right now so I'll control enter on the keyboard to test the movie guys okay so the initial state is without the UI loader let me click on the first thumb the second thumb in fact let me shift the U, uh, the tile list towards the right okay let me test now right 
that's better okay so uh, things are working just the way I want them except that I, I I told you I would want three pictures so what I would do is I would select the tile list okay and I would go to this uh, option which says data providing the components parameters I'm gonna click on this um, pencil symbol and then I'm gonna click on the plus sign I'm gonna give a label to the third picture as flash beg your pardon that's flash icon and the source to be a pick 3 dot PNG basically uh, this picture is lying on the hard disk guys UI loader is used to load external assets like swifts and images okay then I'm gonna say okay and also guys since I've included a third picture if I don't increase the size you see I get this uh, scroll bar let me show it to you in uh, the publish preview so I wouldn't want to have this uh, scroll bar okay rather I would uh, increase the size that I list instead of the width being 200 let me make it 300 okay now I can see all the three pictures uh, the way uh, all the three thumbs now so let me go on and hit control enter to test the movie guys and so now I have three thumbs and three labels and on the click of the respective uh, thumbs I get the respective picture showing up in the UI loader okay let me simulate the download to see how it actually looks let me also increase through the download settings the the download speed so let me hit control enter once again the simulation is on the icon slowly appear let me click on the very first icon the you know the preloader runs from left to the right and left to the right again and left to the right again and it disappears after the picture actually shows up in the UI loader component so all three components use the the progress bar component out here then we've used the UI loader to load external assets like pictures and swifts and uh, the tile list actually serves like you know as thumbs and labels so pretty cool uh, gallery I suppose guys very useful as well and uh, there's just one thing that I would want to change as far as this uh, progress bar is concerned let me try changing the colors I'm gonna double click and um, let me also double click on the bar skin okay let me zoom in onto it alright and let me see when I click on uh, this uh, image prop in the properties I can see it's uh, actually a group so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say break apart and once I do that guys I can actually change the fill color which is right now a blue gradient so I'm gonna click on this color palette and let me change it to a different uh, fill uh, gradient linear gradient which I've done okay let me go back and test uh, how it actually affects the progress bar so control enter the keyboard guys uh, let's see what has happened so control enter once again to simulate and there we go uh, it hasn't actually made much of a difference let me see why let me go back go inside beg your pardon okay all right see it actually didn't make too much of a difference to the the fill let me choose a different color let me choose uh, let's say this one now the fill has actually been altered let me go back let me test control and on the keyboard guys and once again to simulate the download right let me click on the icons and yes I can see the uh, preloader has actually changed color okay let me also try changing the <laughs> the track skin which is right now set to gray okay so I'm gonna double click on the progress bar and let me just zoom out a little bit okay out here it says the track skin let me double click on that okay and when I click on the track skin guys I actually see it's a group if I check the properties it's a group so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say I would want to break it apart actually 
beg your pardon let me zoom on zoom on it right now I can actually break it apart easily once I do that guys I can actually select the track skin quite easily let me try changing the background color let's say uh, let's say a pitch black color okay for the track skin let's see how it actually affects the preloader so control enter once again guys once and twice to simulate the download right let me click on the very first icon so the track skin is now black instead of the original gray so guys this way I can actually change the skinning okay so um, how did you like it guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned from it and I hope you'll uh, use it too I'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action 3 tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace